everybody, it's me, Ariel H, and today we're going to talk about the candidates in Utah. There is a primary election going around in Utah, and there are a lot of interesting candidates, definitely. My first candidate that I'll talk about is Kim Coleman. I first met her at the University of Utah at a Will Witt event. It was definitely fun meeting her. I then got a picture of her at the Independence Day Parade last year. She is known as one of the most conservative legislators ever. She is known for advocating for campus free speech. Definitely. I'll show a video in which she did that. For six years, I've been fighting to protect student free speech on our college campuses. In 2011 and 2013, the Obama administration turned free speech protections upside down. I've worked very hard to make sure we reverse that in the state of Utah. We've been successful on some things. Now, this whole campus is a free speech zone. So we're working hard. I'll take those constitutional protections, the fight for your rights to Congress. There have been hearings about it recently. I'm so glad that she's fighting for the rights of religious people. She's so against the Equality Act and support legislation which lets religious employees opt out. I think she'll be good when a religious employee is being sued. Other than that, she has also repeatedly condemned Mitt Romney and Ben McAdams against their votes for the impeachment of Trump. My second candidate that I'll talk about is Greg Hughes. He's one of the first people who supported President Trump. He was first born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's a small business owner doing real estate development. He's known for being a notable fiscal conservative. He definitely implemented state spending limitations. He made a flatter income tax and $400 million in tax cuts. He is also an ally to veterans because he passed a tuition waiver for Purple Heart recipients and also for surviving dependents for National Guard members killed on the active duty. He increased education funding while cutting taxes. He also fought to move the state prison. He also fought for an inland port to make Utah a hub for economic development. He also went for opium manufacturers and increased drug reform as well. I don't like, like the other candidates in the governor's race. John Huntsman tends to be pro-immigration and tends to believe in man-made climate change. Spencer Cox was against Trump definitely. Lastly. I would like to talk about Sean Reyes. He was known for having defended Trump during the 2016 election. I'll show you a picture I had with him last February. He has addressed the opioid crisis since 2014. He had done this with school and community discussions. He also engaged with the medical community about changing prescribing practices with pharmacists. He protects families and children from child sex abuse, vaping, and other white-collar criminals. He also wants to protect seniors from elder abuse and veterans to have proper legal representation. He stands up for law enforcement as well from anti-police sentiment. He holds police accountable when they step out of line. He passed the First Step Act for criminal justice reform which touched on sentencing, incarceration, and recidivism. He helped pass it despite not being in Congress. He is for rehabilitation instead of punishment. He supports a technology called Banjo and that did protect the public and provided safety and doesn't provide facial recognition. He believes that he wants oversight over that technology. Thanks everyone for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.